Hi guys, today we're going to go over Macroeconomics Gateway Study Guide Sample Exam Number 1. So question 1. If expected inflation is 2%, the nominal interest rate is 7%, and the economy is growing at a rate of 3%, the real interest rate is equal to A. 6% B. 12% C. 4% D 5% or E 9%. Now we're going to go take a look at the question. Uh, remember the formula nominal remember the formula to find the real interest rate is nominal interest rate minus inflation. So we set up the problem like this. So we find that the from the problem the the nominal interest rate is 7% and the expected inflation is 2%. So we set it up as 7% minus 2% equals the real interest rate of 5%. Now the reason the formula is this way is because as inflation increases, the value of the dollar decreases and interest rates will rise. Because the value of the dollar decreased, banks and lenders would not have earned would not have the same amount of real money. Thus, the banks and lenders will need to increase the interest rates by the amount of the inflation so they make the same value of money. Now economic growth does not factor into real interest rates because negative or positive economic growth shows a correlation of whether real interest rates are going up or going down. Now notice that I said correlation not causation. While there are some evidence that there may be some factor that economic growth shows to has there's some factor that can show that economic growth has an effect on real interest rates it's very debatable therefore economic growth does not factor into calculating real interest rates so the correct answer for this question is d five percent